And hello again, this is John Lundquist from Paladin Academy, and this is lesson. Where have the my oh there it is. <laughs> this is lesson um, two seven algebra two solving proportions or solving proportional equations. And a couple terms that are about four things I want to clarify. First is the word ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by division, or it's a fraction. So um, one half is a um, is a fraction. It's also a ratio. Uh, eight over four. And again, this is a division right here. The divide a division. It's like you're going to divide four into eight. Or how many of these units, how many of these units go into that? So 8 divided by 4 is 2. And how many 2's are there in 1? Well, there's, there's a half. That's, that's a hard one to comprehend. But a half is more like, okay, if I said a half, that's more like a circle if I had a whole unit, okay? And I divide that in half. Okay. And then each each unit, each this is one half and this is one half. So that the two tells me how many equal parts of the whole I've divided a whole into. And the one tells me how many parts I have. So one half plus one half, of course, is two halves. It's I got one plus one, it's two. And so two halves is a whole, right? So it can be looked at in a you know in a couple ways, but it's you know looking at it as a division is probably um, best way to look at it. A divided by B, and then a proportion is the equation is the equation using two ratios. So I set two ratios equal to each other, and that's a proportion. So let's take um, let's take 3 and 6 and 4 and 8. Both of these are a half. I mean, they're reduced to a half. If I divided 3 by 3, I get 1. I divide 6 by 3, I get... I divided this by 3 and this by 3. I get 1 half, right? And 4, if I divide that by 4, whoops, I get 1. And I divide this by 4, I get 2, right? So both are, are halves. So if I would undo this real quick, I'm going to come back to my original proportion, 3, uh, three 6 is equal to 4 eighths. And there's a very important thing about this that we want to look at. And that is cross products are equal. Cross products are equal. So if A over B is equal to C over D, then AD, this AD, is equal to BC, this one. This, this and notice that tw this is 24, and 3 times 8 is 24. And that's always true. Cross products are always equal. Um, and then the last thing is, in solving a proportion, we, we, we either do the cross product or we do cross multiply and divide. So if I had 3 over x is equal to 4 over 8. Well, what is x? We, we call it cross multiply. We multiply the 3 times the 8, and we get 24. And I divide it by 4. And this, I divide it by the, the other guy. Sometimes, sometimes I've heard the, the fish method. I've heard that from kids. They learned it in grade school or junior high. The fish method. So you cross, multiply, and divide. So 24 divided by 4, which is 6. Okay. So that's, that's, so basically we're going to use, we're going to use cross, multiply. We could use cross, multiply, and divide on this one. But here, when you have two ends, 
then we can't really use cross plot. We have, can't use cross multiply divide. We have to go ahead and just do cross products. So I'm going to cross multiply this, and I get. I can go either way. I can go six times x, or you know, it doesn't matter which one I do first. So I'm going to go six times x is equal to nine times ten, which is ninety. Divide both sides by six. So, so this is really a cross multiply divide. See that? Cross multiply divided by six. See how well how that worked. And I'm going to bring out my calculator because nobody knows how to divide anymore. <laughs> long division. <laughs> so uh, I already did it. 90 divided by 6 is 15. Bingo. So there it is one. It's done. Okay, so I'm going to multiply the cross. Mul I'm, see, this is why cross multiply divide doesn't work. If I cross multiply it, I just divide by something. So cross products. Here we go. So I'm going to 2 times 2n minus 5 equals 5 times, and this is a quantity here, so you gotta, you gotta, you're gonna have to, um, we have to distribute this 5 to both of these terms, because you're multiplying 5 times this whole thing, so you have to distribute the 5 to both numbers. So it'll be 5 times n minus 5, 2 times 2 is 4n minus 10 equals 5n minus 25. Okay, so and the so let me let me do it this way. There's a lot of people like to put the n on the right. So I'm going to subtract five n from both sides. Five n, and then I'm going to add ten to both sides. So I get negative one n equals that cancels. This cancels negative 15. Okay, now I got negative 1 and I want to get rid of this negative. So I divide by negative 1. Because doing that, two negatives make a positive. And then here's two negatives make a positive. So I get n equals 15. Okay. 3 times, I'm going to go 3 times 4n plus 8 equals this is 16n. Uh, I have to distribute again. 12n plus 24 equals 16n. Might as well put all the n's on one side. Minus 12n. You get 24 equals um, 4n. 16 minus 12 is 4. 24, and then I divide both sides by 4. And I get six equals n, and that one's that one's done. So let me let me erase this, and we got one left. Uh, let's erase this too. It gets in the way of stuff. And then I'm I'll bring this up. Okay, it's so the last one. Cross multiply. Cross multiply these two. Five times two x minus six has to be a quantity, remember. And then multiply this times this quantity equals twelve times x minus two. Distribute, distribute. Ten x minus five times six is thirty equals twelve times x. Twelve times two. Twelve x minus twenty four. I then, well, it's minus 12 both sides. Uh, that's for the people that like the x on the left. And I'm going to add 30 to both sides. So, this is x. Uh, this is 10x minus 12x is minus 2x. I got more minus x's than I got plus x's. That cancels. This cancels, and that cancels, and I get. 30 minus 24, which is 6, I hope. Yep, 6 on 6 to the, yeah, that's right. So I divide by 2, negative 2. I want, want to get rid of the negative and the 2. I multiply by, I divide by the whole thing here. That cancels then. And I get negative 3. And that's 6 divided by 2 is 3, but a negative, this is a plus. 
same as a multiplying plus times a minus is a minus uh, plus divided by a minus is a minus. It's always if you have odd number of minuses, you get a minus. So negative three. That should it. That should be it. Have fun. That I think uh, that covers the whole worksheet. Good luck.